It's Terrence Gangsta Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity. All right, check this out, y'all. When I first saw OG Booby Black, we were I, we had cut school. Not OG Booby Black, but me, Claudia B., a few of us had cut school. We used to go to uh, Carter G. Woodson. And uh, it was this other little dude, a few guys that the cut school come hanging in the Magnolia Project. At the time, I, I wasn't living in the Magnolia Project. I was living on Phillip Street. So uh, we on Willow and Tyler Donna, right, on, on, right where Claudia B. lived at, on, on, on the second floor, on the balcony. They had to trick some of the dude to come up there, and they just start beating him up, start whooping him, jumping on him. You know, I never was with the beating people up, jumping on people, but I would hang out with the crowd that was doing that. So um, as they whooping this dude, Claudia B said, yo, yo, stop, stop, stop. Here come Booby. So I look, I just see a, tall, a little skinny black dude, mean mugging, front up the stair. What's going on? What's up? What's going on up here? He looking around, ain't nobody saying nothing. So I'm like, man, what's up with him? You know? So later on that day, our school, uh, uh, Carter G. Wilson, we used to go around Sammy J. Green, uh, Sofa B. Wright, and they used to just beat people up and take their jackets. They had a polo jacket, leather jacket, whatever kind of jacket. They, man, we used to be like a 20, 25 deep, maybe more. I, I, just, I, know, I, I know for sure at least 20, 25 deep. And um, we would go around these schools. We would walk, man, we would walk from the Magnolia Project to Sofa, uh, uh, to Sammy J. Green and to Sofa B. Wright. Man, for those who know, that's a nice little hike. But we used to walk. Some people be on bicycles. We'd be ganged up, gone. So uh, at the school, uh, uh, Green, the school called Greens. Um, that's, actually, that's around uh, BZ and them neighborhood. So we, uh, the school had to let out. You know, I'm on my player stuff, you know. I got I got this polo jacket on. It got the polo with the club on it on the side. It was a blue and red jacket. It's like kind of like it got the button. It's the button now, you know, with the button up, the button on like like a baseball jacket, like, but it's a polo jacket. And um, I had I had a red, blue, red, blue, black, like gold is like stripy polo shirt with me some uh, like a like a stone washes jeans, and I had some. Them black, did I? Have, I think I had them black Jordans. I had uh, we had a me mosquito, my best friend Hank, and, and uh, other guy. We had broken a car, stole some money, and you know, that's how I got them Jordans. So uh, as I'm standing up, right, the people, the people from Woodson School and out the Magnolia Project too, we all around at the bus stop, right on Forest Street. I don't know the side street, so uh, they got a bus station, a bus stop right across, right on that corner. So uh, it's, it's a block from Valens, so y'all know where I'm at for those who are from there. Um, I'm just standing up, you know, hanging at Claudia B. I'm standing right by Claudia B. And a few people are getting beat up, who get their jacket. Booby had just went, went wild, what to do in the middle of the street. Took a it was like a stonewall jacket. Had the, 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 the little sheep hit him in the, the, the collar like Booby. He had a jacket by there, so. Man, he why this bag walk up and ask me, grab my jacket, what size this is? So I like, I was shocked, I'm like, what? and Claudia be like, no, 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 he with us. Stopped him, right? So he, you know, for those who know OG Booby Black, who have seen pictures of OG Booby Black, he got the same look, that meme of how he rounding up on his face. So, you know, I'm like, what the, I'm with the, he, what size this is? So I don't say nothing. Claudia B, no, 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 he would have stopped him, right? Then right after that, now I ain't gonna lie, he kept some bad little female. He had a, a, a little red little girlfriend named Patrice. They at the bus stop. They stand, they on Washington and Ferret. I'm coming, I'm gonna think I'm on my way by my bad friend Hank House. I'm coming up for Red Street. And I'm about to turn on Washington and go by Hank House. He, I robbed a little B.A.N. I ain't do this guy nothing, but he keep picky with me. Keep on, keep on, keep on picky with me. I don't say nothing. So, finally, when he started coming around, I guess to start kind of like being a little all right with me, 
was in, because this, all this was like 89, 90, somewhere. Um, when I wound up going to juvenile jail, uh, we was in this thing called JRDC up there in uh, Baker, Louisiana. Just before you get to go to LTI or you go to Monroe. So he was back on AWOL or something. Well, he had went AWOL or something he did. So he was back and they, they kind of, because he was a little older than us, so they kept him separated from him. They kept him like he had to sit on the stairs. And we was out in the gym, you know, guys playing ball or whatever. So he remembered me and I remember him because we from around the way. So, uh, you know, he talking to me and stuff, showing me a few little pictures. But they was good. I think they were getting ready to bring him to the adjustment center. You know, that's where a lot of the uh, juvenile, when you be being bad, you break out, go escape, whatever, they put you in there. So uh, I'm not sure. So y'all hit him up, ask him where he was going. Um, this was back, I think, I want to say 1990. Um, so anyway, um, we had talked for a little while, you know. I was happy to see like somebody like a, like a big homie, you know. He hollered, he talked to him, I was cool. I was happy that he was talking to him because they showing all the little juvenile like, y'all got a big homie that was already up here, y'all. You he dig? So don't play with me. So uh, then he left. Uh, I wouldn't see Booby until 1991. 1991, I had him broke out, and I don't know how he got out. I don't know if he didn't find a time, whatever, he let him out, whatever. We had we had it uh, clicked up, and um, we used to go around, riding, jumping out on the, on the sets. Man, we had a we had a long thumb cocker four four. We had a thumb cocker three fifty seven. We had a street sweeper. We had a Mac eleven. Uh, Jeep was where it broke out with me. Had uh, left me with his thirty eight automatic. And I had a 38 that they gave when I first broke out. I had that 38 and the 38. So uh, we had a nice little collection of guns. And um, we had started hanging out, kicking it. So 92 come around, I had and got busted and went to the state jail. I got busted for a gun. First I got busted for a crack and called it, I got busted for a gun. And um, that's when, uh, while I was in jail, uh, the feds kicked in the door. Got OG Boo Black, um, got his uncle, another one of the homies, and that's when he went to the feds. He went to the feds in 92. And he just sent me the pictures when he had the Lepoto shirts and all that when he was in Oakdale. So I was like, okay, the homie in the feds now, you know. And he used to write me and stuff. So when he come home, um, I want to say 94, that's when we clicked, we had hooked back up. That's when he got, uh, got in the mix with us. He got shot his own, that when he got his, that he lost his own. But uh, now that I think about it, man, from when I think back to stuff when I was young, man, good thing I didn't sit on the porch with you, Boo Black. I think I might want to fight you now, man. I used to chunk me around when I was a little shorty, bro. But it's all good, oh, why? Much love, I'm out of here. Why? Again.